New Zealand is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. New Zealand's South Island is long and mountainous, with three prime tourist routes designated by location. The East Route, the West Route, and the Central Route. The Central Route goes from Christchurch to Queenstown, via Te Kapo, Mount Cook, and Wanaka, about six hours drive in total. Let's give you a taste of the sightseeing you can do along this route today. Christchurch has a population of approximately 380,000 and is New Zealand's third largest city. It is the largest city in the South Island. European settlers first landed here in 1830 and in 1856 the British Royal Charter officially recognised Christchurch, making it New Zealand's oldest city. Christchurch has a strong British influence and is the most English city outside of England. Nostalgic trams can take you around the city's main attractions, where elegant 19th century buildings are abound. Clean roads, shady trees, elegant surroundings and numerous parks and private gardens. They bloom and they flourish. Christchurch is also known as the City of Gardens. Takapo is located in the middle of New Zealand's South Island, just a three hour drive southwest of Christchurch. Takapo is a veritable tourist town with just a few hundred residents, but many more visitors every day. To the north of the town is Lake Takapo, one of the 10 most famous lakes in the world, and across the lake are the majestic Southern Alps. As the town remains natural and not overdeveloped, you can see a magnificent starry sky at night, making it a world famous stargazing town. It is also one of the world's rare star heritage reserves. Lake Takapo covers 96 square kilometres and is one of New Zealand's most scenic highland lakes at an altitude of 710 meters. It is known for the unique turquoise blue color of its water. This water originates from glacial meltwater in the Southern Alps. Mineral powder from the mountains flow into the lake and is suspended in the sunlight, giving it a fantastic milky blue color. Hence, Lake Takapo is also known as the Sapphire of New Zealand's South Island. The dreamy waters of this lake reflect the clouds in the sky and the snow-capped Cook Mountains in the distance, providing a postcard of natural purity. In the Southern Hemisphere's spring and summer months, the lake is also surrounded by large lupine flowers, making for a spectacular sight. Just 15 minutes from Lake Takapo, Mount John is the high point of Takapo, offering unparalleled views by day and by night. From the top, you can enjoy endless views of Lake Takapo and the town, including turquoise blue waters, snow capped mountains in the distance, and vast plains of breathtaking beauty. It is the perfect location to look over Lake Takapo and the surrounding rolling hills and is a very popular tourist attraction in this area. Mount John Observatory is the southernmost professional observatory in the world. This observatory has five large astronomic telescopes and is New Zealand's National Astronomical Observatory. It is also the Astronomical Research Centre of the University of Canterbury. This, together with the fact 
that the town of Takapo is located in one of the few international dark sky reserves in the world makes the observatory one of the best places in the world for people to observe the Milky Way and the universe. If you want to see the stars in the Southern Hemisphere and enjoy the world's largest and most pristine dark sky reserve, follow a nighttime stargazing tour with the observatory's telescopes. A professional guide will explain the astronomic sights and stories of the stars, taking you on a mesmerizing journey of stargazing. The Church of the Good Shepherd, located on the shores of Lake Takapo, is the only church in the town and is a repository of faith for the local people. The church was built in 1935 and is a landmark of Lake Takapo. The exterior walls are made entirely of stone and there is just over 20 square metres of interior space, making it possibly the smallest church in New Zealand. Though this church is small, it is very famous and the area where it is located is popular for stargazing in New Zealand due to the sparseness of the land and the lack of light pollution. In the early morning or late evening, when it is half light and half dark, the stars shine on the lakeside chapel, a view that will be remembered by countless visitors. A short distance to the east of the church is a bronze statue of a sheepdog engraved with the words, without the sheepdogs, the town would not be what it is today. The statue was built to commemorate the contribution of sheepdogs to the protection of sheep in a predominantly pastoral New Zealand. The charm of Te Kapo is not only the blue waters, the majestic mountains and the vast plains, but also the purity of its nature and the unforgettable starry sky. Takapo is a paradise left behind on Earth. Mount Cook National Park is located on the shores of scenic Lake Pukaki, covering an area of approximately 721 square kilometres. There are 75 peaks over 3,000 metres above sea level, including Mount Cook, which, at 3,724 metres, is the highest peak in New Zealand and the second highest peak in Oceania. Covered in snow and ice all year round, it is known as the Roof of New Zealand. Mount Cook, with its spectacular rolling peaks, is a popular tourist destination and a great challenge for climbers. In 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary and his guide Tenzing successfully climbed Mount Everest in the first recorded ascent of the mountain. Mount Cook was the base from which Sir Hilary trained for his ascent of Everest. Mount Cook National Park is also popular for its many famous trails and is one of the must-see attractions for travellers to the South Island. The Hooker Canyon Trail is a popular choice for travellers being around 10 kilometers long and taking around three to four hours to complete. The trail offers a variety of scenery, including the glacier melts and the glacier lake, gravelly trails and the surrounding snow-capped mountains, which are like entering a movie set. The trail ends at Hooker Lake, which mirrors the magnificent Mount Cook and the Southern Alps perfectly.
with mountains, glaciers, rivers, lakes, animals and highland vegetation, Mount Cook National Park offers an astonishing array of scenery that is unmatched anywhere else. Lake Bukaki at the southern foot of Mount Cook is a glacial weir whose source is the glacial meltwater of Mount Cook, also known as a glacial melt lake. It covers an area of 169 square kilometres. The water temperature stays between 5 and 10 degrees all year round, making it ideal for cold water fish farming. New Zealand's famous Mount Cook salmon farm uses the pure cold water to produce delicious high quality salmon. Lake Bukaki's water is so intense that it looks like the blue of the sky mixed with rich milk, hence the name Blue Milk Lake. New Zealand's South Island is home to a scenic paradise, Lake Wanaka. Surrounded by verdant mountains, deep streams and lush forests, it is recognised as one of New Zealand's most scenic spots and a great holiday destination for all seasons. The picturesque town of Wanaka is situated on the northern shore of this lake and its convenient facilities and proximity to the lake provide visitors with the perfect opportunity to enjoy both indoor activities and the great outdoors. The waterways are perfect for boating, fishing and water sports in the summer and the many hiking trails in the wooded mountains are great for outdoor enthusiasts. Wanaka is also a must-see destination for food lovers with vibrant lakeside cafes and restaurants where you can enjoy a variety of local delicacies including merino lamb, pinot noir wine and ice cream. For a comprehensive look at Wanaka cuisine, visit the local farmers market or go to Cardrona Distillery and learn how New Zealand's unique single malt whisky is made using pure water from the Cardrona Mountains. Challenge yourself to the extreme by rock climbing over waterfalls or hiking on cliffs. The Wanaka Cableway takes you on a different kind of outdoor experience. Climb up to one of the world's highest waterfalls and take in the breathtaking views over Twin Falls, which is sure to be a thrilling experience. On the way, you will also cross railway bridges and explore hidden pools. The three trail levels range from a short climb of 150 metres to a challenging climb of 450 metres. Are you brave enough to take on the ultimate level? Due to Wanaka's unique geographic location, 
The nearby hiking trails are beautiful and unique. The stunning Blue Pools track is located just off the highway from Wanaka to Haast. Here you can walk along the pristine Makarora River deep into a beautiful untouched bush with the scent of beach following your footsteps. Cross a classic suspension bridge in search of trout and endangered canaries then follow the boardwalk to the viewing platform for stunning views of the gorge. When you walk this track yourself, you can feel the satisfaction of reaching higher levels step by step, not to mention the feeling of elation when you finally reach the viewing platform at the top, embracing the mountains and the blue sky. The winter temperatures on New Zealand's South Island are relatively low and the snow in the mountains around Lake Wanaka are packed thick, making it a skier's paradise. The mountains here are home to some of New Zealand's top ski resorts, with Cardrona being one of the most popular in the country. Perfect for all skiers, from novices and families to the World Extreme Games and Winter Olympic gold medalists. Cardrona's extensive facilities include eight cafes and restaurants, 15 alpine apart hotels, a covered beginner's conveyor belt, the largest lift facility on the South Island, the most extensive terrain park and half pipe in the Southern Hemisphere, and the first gondola in New Zealand ski areas. These spectacular facilities have attracted skiers from all around the world. Cromwell is a small town on New Zealand's South Island which grew rapidly in 1862 as a result of the gold rush. It is surrounded by the Southern Alps and is relatively far from the ocean, making it simultaneously the driest, hottest and coldest region in New Zealand. With a low population, low human pollution and mature irrigation systems, this town is a major producer of cherries, peaches, apricots and other fruits. As such, it is also known as the fruit town. You can buy all sorts of fresh fruit and fruity ice cream here. The streets are lined for farmers selling their own fruit, available in a large variety and at low prices. You can also pick your own fruit in the orchards. Cherries are one of New Zealand's most famous products and great for picking experiences. Wanaka is a year-round holiday haven with gorgeous scenery in all seasons surrounded by lakes, mountains and ski slopes. It offers constant opportunities for enjoyment and adventure. With majestic mountains surrounding a peaceful lake, Wanaka is a breath of fresh air and relaxation, a secluded and immersive paradise out of this world. Queenstown is located on the South Island of New Zealand. It is a famous tourist hotspot. Built around Lake Wakatipu and surrounded by the Southern Alps, whichever paths you follow into the town, you will be surrounded by mountains and lakes with scenery straight out of a fairy tale. 
This is how Lonely Planet describes Queenstown. If one day Queenstown ceases to exist, someone will surely reinvent it. As you stand on the shores of Lake Wakatipu, which surrounds Queenstown, you might just understand how important this is in everyone's minds. The South Island is at the centre of New Zealand tourism. No matter which destination you visit, you'll be overwhelmed by the breathtaking beauty in front of you. Whether it is a relaxing vacation, a romantic honeymoon, or a challenge to yourself, New Zealand South Island has something for you.